Well, where are we at? We made it to Bryce Canyon. Finally, Bryce Canyon is open for business. We've been waiting all week for this opening. Today is May 6, 2020. Yep. So, so far, as you can see in the parking lot, we're the only ones. Well, there's nobody here yet, so we'll see farther going up or what's going to happen. But hang on, we're going to give you a show at Bryce Canyon today. All right, we're at our first stopping point coming into the park from the north. We'll be going from the north to the south. Sunrise Point. So if y'all want to do the shuttles, like we showed you in earlier videos, you can park in Bryce Canyon City, and they'll drop you off right here. You can go do the next one, uh, go up to see the point, and then uh, come back down here and sit and wait, and then go farther down the road, and the shuttle will drop you off there. Or they'll take you back to town. So this is just great if you don't want to drive or if you got your big rig. So we're going to go up and check out Sunrise Point. I think it's about 8,000 feet. I can't remember. It's been five years since we've been here. And really looking forward to going back. Yeah, 8,015 feet above sea level. Sunrise Point. And they got nice pass here. It's a beautiful sunny day. Got lycerous clouds in the sky. Beautiful. Bring back a lot of good memories. So let's get up to the top. Because Kim's already there. Alright, this is Sunrise Point. What do you think, Kim? You remember Absolutely this? Absolutely. Isn't this fantastic? The sun will come up right over there. So if you get up about 5 o'clock in the morning... You might get a heck of a show. I would do it. But look at all the hoodoos. Look at the trails down there. You can go all the way down in there. I mean all the way. But they're closed. They don't look too muddy. No. But they're closed to traffic. But you can walk up here. It's a little bit of a hike. Not too bad. All the colors. Now if you looked at some of our earlier videos when we went to Crotacomb State Park, all that, it's over there. <laughs> Something else. We're just being real cognizant of don't touch any of the handrails and stuff like that. We got a nice little bench here you can have a sit down. Sunrise Point. Well, beautiful. I want to take a minute again to thank the National Park Service, uh, State of Utah, for working hard to open this one up. As far as we know, this is the first national park that has been opened to visitors, and we are just having a fantastic time here. The views are great. It's not crowded, so... We have the park to ourselves. We don't really feel... Uh, like there's a contamination issue here at all. No. So this is this is going to work out just great. Bryce Canyon, Utah. All right, this is Sunset Point. So the sun is straight above us right now. So the sun will be shining back over here later tonight. And this is why everybody comes over here. It's going to be beautiful too. We're coming back. <laughs> you liking it? I do want to come back though. And then tomorrow morning we're going to do the sunrise. Well, it seems like every turn we make, every little farther down the trail we go, we see something completely different. That's true. This is Sunset Point. So this is going to be real cool tonight. We're going to come back here tonight and take a look at it. Exactly. Set up a few cameras. It'll be beautiful. Worth, the, worth the wait, huh? Yes, I'm so glad we decided to stick it out and stay, even though there was nowhere else to go anyway. So. <laughs> yep, it worked. everything sometimes just works out for the That's best. That's right. Everything does. We 
look how pretty it is, but it's really pretty over there. Yeah, let's go check Where it out. You bugs, so. And you can bring your dog up here on the paved paths, but you can't take them on the dirt paths. So as long as you stay on any paved path, you're good to go with your dogs. But if they do come a nuisance or bark, <clears throat> the rangers will uh, run you off. And if you leave them in the car and they bark, they'll find you. They uh, will find you. So citation it says. So it's very nice. I mean, wheelchair accessible, scooter accessible. So what do you think, sis? Oh, First time in Bryce Canyon. It's amazing. We've been talking Just. about this for a long time, getting up here, because we knew what it looked like. It was so worth the extra days waiting. So Fascinating. Um, so Laurel, Shirley, and Deb have never been here before. So we waited patiently for it to open up, and they're glad they did. But you can see all the little trails. It's probably hard on the GoPro. They go all the way through everywhere in there. I would love to go do those, but I think they're all closed because of, there's no emergency services. Yep. So. But uh, I'd, I'd go down if they'd bring me a shuttle and bring me back up. Yeah. <laughs> Sunset Point. This is gorgeous. We'll, we'll see what the difference is between tonight when the sun goes down. But it's just gorgeous. Look at all the hoodoos out there. All the deep canyons. See, they got that trail blocked off right there. Another little point over there. Man, if you're a hiker, this is the place to go. So they don't want you to go down and hike because they're limited on rescue. Yeah. So they've closed that off and it makes sense. But when you come up here and want to do this, you make sure you got the proper gear. Because even up on the concrete, this loose rock up here, you'll slip and fall. So make sure you got the right footwear up here also. But you know what's really cool? They got these boot scrapers, and I've never seen these up here before, where you can clean your feet off once you come off the trail. I think that's fantastic. Good job, National Park Service. A little bottle, bottle refill. Everybody's just enjoying a great walk. Taking our time, we're in no hurry. Manzanilla bushes all over the place. Living the RV life. Every corner's a different view. put my wind muff on here comes the wind usually about 11 12 o'clock it comes up almost every day so if you ever wonder where Bryce Canyon got its name Scottish born Ebenezer Bryce apprenticed as a shipwright 1850 18 years old moved to uh, Utah and married Marianne Park of course he was a Mormon and at the direction of the church officials, the Bryce became serial homesteaders, moving from place to place, helping to establish communities. That was back in 1876. So now you know where Bryce Canyon got their name. So just to give you some idea, the Bryce Canyon shuttles make stops at the following location. Ruby's Inn, Ruby's Campground, the Visitor Center, North Campground Trailer Drop-Off and Shuttle Parking Area, Sunset Campground, Bryce Point, Inspiration Point, Sunset Point, The Lodge, and Sunrise Point General Store. So the route duration is approximately 50 minutes, and about every 10 to 15, the bus will come through. Pretty cool.